All right, I wanted to do a quick speed comparison. I have here on the left side the uh, mid-2012 non-retina model uh, MacBook Pro 15-inch. On the right side, it's almost identical, but it's one step up. It's the late 2012 15-inch Retina model. Okay, on both models, I have uh, the 16 gig RAM. I have that up at the top. They also have an SSD drive. Um, I have the 10.10 Yosemite running on the left, 10.12 Sierra running on the right. And other than that, they both do have the SSD drive. I upgraded the one on the left. So I just wanted to see the main difference is how much faster is the Retina model over the non-Retina. And I want to compare the two. So I'm going to do a cold boot start right here and see how long it takes them to start up. That's the first thing. Check it out. Here we go. Starting off from uh, cold boot. Almost identical right there on those two. And we're into the uh, desktop. I'm looking at the screens right now and just looking at the screen resolution, you know, on my old one here, I never really noticed it that much, but you do have a crisper screen, if you can tell by the video here. On the Retina model, let's see. Make sure the brightness is turned all the way up on both. And just on the right one on the Retina model, there's the screen. Just looking like the colors are crisper, a little brighter. Compared. Let's try doing uh, like an app test where, uh, if I can get both hands on here. If we open up, say, uh, Microsoft Word on both at the same time. Okay, that was actually slightly faster on the... Uh, non-retina model what about iMovie let's open up iMovie same time about the same actually I think the non-retina model opened up just a second quicker almost the same exact though on those okay now I want to do I'm going to do a handbrake compression test. I'm going to open up the same file on both. I had it set up to where these are clones, the exact same hard drive, same files on them. And I want to do, with the same settings, this is a handbrake, it's a compression tool, and kind of use up the computer's resources. I want to see what the difference is time-wise for handbrake compressing the same video file. So let's try this out. See down at the bottom, that's where we have progress. Get there. Well, the blue line's not moving at the bottom, but it does say 23%. So, we're looking at about the same percentage on both of those. We're gonna see which one gets done first. And we are encoding, we're almost done. And it actually looks like the older computer on the left is winning right now, a little bit faster. That one just got done. Just got done on the right, so actually about 10 seconds. I was actually expecting the Retina model to win on that, um, but we were 10 seconds quicker with the old computer. Now I wanna look at a comparison maybe, just to show you guys both on the About This Mac. Okay, on this one, those are our specs right there we're working with. Over here, similar specs. 
only difference I'm noticing there is the video card is uh, 1500 megabytes on the So I pulled up the about this Mac specs. The only difference I'm seeing is on the right we have the video card graphics, Intel HD graphics 4000 is 1500 megabytes. On the left here we have the same thing, Intel HD graphics 4000 is 1024. Okay, not sure if that makes much of a difference, but that is the difference besides, like I said, the customized upgrades that I made on this one going with the 16 gig RAM. The other notice, the other difference is if you guys want to just see both of these machines side by side, we've got a slightly thinner machine on the right with the Retina model, <clears throat> slightly thicker machine on the left. And the difference there is you can see if you turn these, we've got the DVD drive still on the left no DVD drive on the right. You do have the built-in HDMI on the Retina model. Two USB ports on each. And if you look here, we've got the two USBs, the Firewire, which this one does not have Firewire, but it does have two of the Lightning ports. And the MagSafe 2 charger on the right, MagSafe 1 charger on the left. All right, I wanted to do one more test here with iMovie exporting a file. This is something that uses a lot of resources. And on the left, on the right, we've got the same exact file. It's 10 minutes long, and we're exporting at uh, 1280 by 720p. High quality on both. And I wanted to see the time differential on these. So I'm gonna set this down. We're going to start them both at the same exact time and we're going to see if there's any difference which one wins. There we go. This is a 10 minute video file. That one just got done. About a six second difference faster with the retina model share successful done it was maybe six seconds faster I'm gonna do one more test quit both of those out let's do the restart test so this is a cold boot we're gonna go restart on both got the non retina machine winning again so uh, I did a various uh, test there. Both machines very, very similar and not much difference with this one. I think I like on the Retina model, you got the crisper screen. That's one thing. And a little bit slimmer. I like that. But you don't have the DVD drive. So if you want a DVD drive, go with this machine, which still had that. And uh, I think you can get these models even with the upgrades, maybe a little bit cheaper than these. So it's something to think about. Let me know in the comments what you guys prefer. If you're still running these 2012 machines, they're good machines still, and they are fast if you do the upgraded 16 gig RAM. What do you prefer? Do you like the Retina model? Do you like sticking with the DVD drive and the more ports on this one still? What do you guys think? Check out my other videos for more Mac tutorials, operating system comparisons, computer comparisons, and more. Go ahead and hit subscribe and comment down below. I do appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Ooh.